Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. Clicked on to the long range weather forecast discussion for December 30th to January 13th. Uh, we're in for a mild period, at least in the east, a little bit colder in the west, but the teleconnections is all supporting this. You can see the NAO will be positive. And we look at the, um, that's a PNA positive, the NAO will also be positive to near neutral. And the AO is, uh, goes negative, positive to negative. So the uh, differences in the pattern as we go through the period uh, closer to the middle of the month. I think that's when a change might get back, uh, may occur again. Um, we're going to take a look at the MJO. And um, the MJO is in phase five. Now, phase five, we'll go to phase five. Okay, we are. Is um, look what it brings phase five. Warm for December, even going in January. And um, if it goes into phase six, it's still milder. We have to get what well, we have to get to phase seven, but that might occur later on in the period. So, um, that's the way it looks right now. Now, um, it'll be mild in the in the east, and out west there'll be several systems that'll be affecting the region, and um, we'll have height rises occurring in the east. So we'll take a look at that at the surface. Okay, uh, we're gonna take a look. This is for uh, January, December 30th to 3rd. You can see here's one Pacific system coming in, bringing heavy rain, possible snow, maybe flooding conditions and um, possible flooding occurring in California. And then it moves into the east. We have heavy rain, possible storms here in the lower Mississippi Valley. And then uh, we have another system that'll be moving in. That'll be in the next period. So, um, Temperatures in the east would be much warmer, with anomalies greater than 15 degrees above normal would be possible. In the west, like I talked about before just now, we'll have a fetch of moisture from the Pacific that will lead to heavy precipitation and heavy snow. And we'll have anomalies of, of greater maybe around 10 degrees below normal in some locations. So we're going to take a look at the pattern for this period. We're going to go here. This would be the 30th, the 3rd trough ridge configuration all right also um okay looking at the period for uh january 4th to the 8th and very little change in forecast in the pattern and so for this forecast period i'm calling for let's see if i can get it to appear Got to do it the old-fashioned way. Calling for below normal temperatures here with anomalies greater than 10 degrees below normal, above normal temperatures here with anomalies of 10 to 15 degrees above normal. For precipitation, calling for below, above normal precipitation here and for this region because that system in the west, the trough would be moving eastward into the eastern states. And we're expecting uh, anomaly uh, the probability of currents is near 45 percent now um we're going to take a look here at the polar vortex briefly because there'll be more on that later on in the week we're going to take a look at the polar vortex and um you can see it remains around the polar region to the other side of the pole the asian side and even drifts further to the other side of the pole And that means that there's stronger westerly winds keeping the cold air across Canada and parts of Asia. Look, it even goes way up. But look what happens here. It kind of gets stretched. Did you know, sorry. Um, it gets stretched a little bit. So there might be some weakening possible um, by um, maybe around mid-month period. We have to see how that goes. We'll have more on that. So um, 
for this forecast period, I'm calling for. Now, this doesn't really go around with the model, uh, with the modeling. But still forecasting above normal temperatures for much of the country. I don't forecast it now. It's been near 10 degrees below normal. And for precipitation, calling for above normal precipitation here. And for this region, probability of currents 35 to 40%. Below normal precipitation forecast here with the anomalies. Um, with the probability of occurrence of 35%. This forecast will probably change. Um, I'm, I'm expecting it to change because uh, the models aren't agreeing later in this period. So, oh, one thing I want to show you too, the um, the weeklies. They came out last night. Uh, let me see if I have them here. Okay, here's the weekly. Here's a temperature forecast for January 2nd above normal temperatures for much of the country below here then we go to the ninth above normal really warm here in the east and then it kind of levels off a little bit as we go to the 16 and then even more so as we go to the 23rd so it looks according to the weeklies it looks like a mild uh january now we'll look at the um, seasonal forecast of the GFS temperature outlook. And this would be, uh, that's for December. I don't know if these were updated much. Then we go to January. Oh, this is good to see near normal. But um, then we go into February. There's not much change. So this this is the seasonal forecast. This is March, February, and January, uh, December is here, but we'll focus on Jan on on January, the month coming up. It doesn't look quite as warm in the east. Okay, that's all for now. That's the long range weather forecast discussion for December 30th and January 13th. Thanks for coming to Munley's World of Weather and have a good day.